Hey y'all, it's Autumn Janae. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today's video is going to be on this braided ponytail that I talked about in my headband wig. So let's get into it. We're starting off with me looking a little crazy, but for my um for this ponytail, I do flat iron my hair. I probably did it at like maybe 350, 370. I know the natural hair guys are screaming at me, but honey, listen. This hair is thick. Okay? Thick. So for me to do what I need to do without breaking a wrist or uh, arm or something, I had to straighten it. I'm sorry, but I had to do what I had to do. And once it's all straightened out, I just um, section my hair from ear to ear because when I do my ponytails, I always do my back section first. Like I focus on the back. I do the back because I don't really put that much work into the back. The front is, you know, where it gets good at. You know what I mean? Yeah, then I take that back section and section it into two. And I'm just going to spray the got to be free spray in the yellow pen that's coming up right here. I just spray that all over the section and brush it in, then blow dry it. Now I do the same thing on top and then I'll just put it in a ponytail. And for the front pieces I did separate my baby hair out and I went in, with, in smaller sections spray free spray in between those. And then brush all of that down and back. And right here, I'm adding in some um, beeswax. I didn't show the beeswax, but I'll put a picture of it right here on the screen so y'all know what I'm talking about. And I also went in with a comb just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Some more free spray, brushing it in again. And I'm going to go in with the blow dryer. And once that's done, I'm just going to add that to the ponytail. And I'm not, I don't use multiple rubber bands or multiple ponytail holders that hurts. I just use the same one. Now to my favorite part, but I did the exact same thing on the other side with the same products and all. Now I'm laying my baby hairs with um, the same edge control I done talked about in all three, in all two of my hair videos that's already on my channel. The Edge Fixer by Kiss, the Sweetie Edge Control. I love this Edge Control. And I know my sideburn look real, real long, and y'all probably gonna think something wrong with me, but I did cut it. Yep, I cut it. I cut it. It ain't nothing to cut that off. Snip, snip, I cut it. I cut both sideburns because they were just too long. <laughs> So once you're done, we're just going to do a little TikTok um, transition here. I slept with my scarf on. Now it's time to put in the braid. I'm using two packs of Queen Bee um, pre-stretch hair in the color 1B and 30. And then to attach the hair, I took a little bit of the hair and I like folded it over. I don't really know how to explain it. You have to pause that first part or maybe I'll insert a picture of that first part. So you can really see how I added the hair in. And then I just um, did the rest of the hair like you would do a normal braid. If you want it to look like it's coming out of your ponytail, then you will use all of the hair when, you, when you're when you attaching it to your hair versus sectioning the piece off. I hope I'm explaining this right. 
Yeah, to make it as big as you want it, um, and long as you want it, you just feed in some more hair. Overall, I use um, two packs of hair. Like, I use all of the hair from the 1B, all of the hair from the 30. But for like the initial braid, I use one and a half packs, and then I just use the rest of the hair um, to feed the hair in. And I went in with um, Shining Jam as I was braiding the hair down just to help with any flyaways or anything like that. But I don't know if y'all can really see, but my hair is sticking out at the top. And when I went in to cut it, I cut my hair. Yeah, I don't mind cutting my hair off in braids. Now, when I'm doing other people's hair, I'm not going to cut their hair. But with my hair, baby, cut it off. Just cut it. And you kind of want to keep a brush like on hand so you can brush their hair through because for some reason queen bee like sometimes it tangles real bad I'm, like, I'm gonna have to find a different um random braiding hair to use that's already pretty stretched out if y'all have any recommendations leave them down in the comments so you just keep braiding all the way down to the end i was starting to get stressed because my hands were trembling so i had to get my sister to um finish my braid for me Make sure you cut your flyaways, you dip your hair. I didn't dip mine because I tied it in a knot as you move, and that's it. That's the look. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the final look, you know, looking real cute. Don't forget to like, um, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell for post notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next one.